I had a few questions on last night's homework assignment, so I figured I'd go over a couple of uh, problems on it. I'm going to use the triangle problem. Now, you'll notice that I already filled in my table. Hopefully, you notice that the triangles are going up by multiples of four. So the question I got mostly was D and E. So I'm going to go through how you can solve D and E. Now, first step is to write a recursive function. Recursive functions, I like them at least uh, from where we're at right now because they're a bit easier to find. So when we get from 1 to 4, I'm multiplying by 4. 4 to 16 times 4. 16 to 64 times 4. So each time I take my previous output, and then I'm multiplying by 4 to get my next output. And that's what a recursive function is. You're looking at previous, how you get from the previous to the next. And you can just write it out in words like this for now. So previous output times 4 to get to the next output. So that's the recursive function. The explicit is a little trickier. Because we know with explicit functions, we want to start out with our initial value. We want to look at the change. And that gets us to our output. So you look at your table here. You might notice that there's not an initial value. Because the initial value is when our input is 0. We don't have a figure 0 here. But I know, going forward here, I'm multiplying by 4. So what I would do to go backwards, instead of multiplying, I'm going to divide by 4. So I'm going to take 1, I'm going to divide by 4 going backwards. And you have a couple of options as to how you can write your answer. You can do it as a decimal. A lot of people said 1 divided by 4 is 0.25. This is all I need to see. 1 over 4. A fraction, because you know what? A fraction is just a lazy person's division problem. And it's a division problem that hasn't been solved. So I took 1, I divided it by 4, I just left it as a fraction. Now my change here, each time I'm multiplying by 4. So you notice I'm going to use the dot and not the x. There's a reason for that, because I'm using x as an input. So my change is times 4, and since it's an exponential function, x is going to be my exponent. So that's how you arrive at the recursive and explicit function for the 1.3 homework. Hopefully this helps.